Hey there, everyone. Today, we're going to interpret the book, Think and Grow Rich. In minutes, you'll learn how to boost your confidence, perseverance, determination, and maintain passion and enthusiasm. Throughout the interpretation of this book, I'll provide a sanctuary for your mind, encouraging you to perceive and reflect upon these truths deeply. Think and Grow Rich was written by Napoleon Hill. This book concretely demonstrates how to acquire wealth, guiding readers through clear and understandable steps. As long as you persist and keep your belief strong, nothing is impossible. The author, Napoleon Hill, was born into a poor family in Virginia, USA. His mother passed away when he was 10, and a year later, his father remarried a well-educated young widow. Her arrival opened a new world for Hill. Who always credited his achievements to her, quoting Lincoln, "All that I am or hope to be, I owe to her." At 13, with his stepmother's support, Hill traded a pistol for a typewriter, beginning his writing career. In 1908, he had the fortune to interview Andrew Carnegie, the steel magnate, in his first interview. Despite being unremunerated, Carnegie offered Hill a chance to spend 20 years researching success, which Hill eagerly accepted. This opportunity led Hill to interview many of the day's notable figures, whose insights and experiences became the capital of his life. Eventually, finding the truth about success, as Carnegie described, after 20 years of research, Hill wrote numerous books guiding the youth, opening the door to success for himself. Facing applause and accolades, he simply stated, "Courage is the lifesaver of a success." Without my firm answer that day, I wouldn't have achieved today's success. The first chapter of Think and Grow Rich, titled "The Power of Thought," tells the story between Barnes and Edison. Barnes had only one wish in his life: to work with Edison. Two things stood in his way initially: he didn't know Edison, and he couldn't afford the train fare to Orange, New Jersey. But Barnes was no ordinary person. He traveled in a freight car to Orange and made his way to Edison's office. Years later, Edison recalled his first impression of Barnes, saying, "When a person's desire is so strong that they are willing to stake their entire future on a single turn of the wheel, they are sure to win." Barnes risked everything to work with Edison, unaware of the outcome, but driven by a steadfast heart. Destined to overcome all obstacles and seize the opportunity for his dream, if we all hold on to our grand dreams and persist until they are realized, how might our lives change? The second chapter, Desire, the starting point of all achievement, discusses Barnes's desire, which was not worldly but a pulsating, transcending desire. When he stood before Edison, his desire had already manifested. Those who know Barnes now envy his success, but they are unaware of the efforts behind his splendid years. His success was due to setting a clear goal and dedicating all his energy and efforts towards it. He had ambition and desire, was cautious, and worked his way up from humble beginnings in the workshop, not immediately becoming Edison's business partner. Over five years, he saw no hint of success, but quietly toiled in insignificant roles. From the moment he entered Edison's office, he considered himself working alongside him. Barnes achieved his goal because of his desire to be Edison's colleague, cutting off all retreats to pursue his objective. Many historical figures succeeded because they had the courage to burn their boats. The book presents two examples: an army facing a difficult situation, where the leader's decisive decision-making enabled them to overcome adversity by burning their ships before the battle, and the story of the Great Chicago Fire, where one merchant, among others, contemplating their next steps, decided to rebuild on the ruins, eventually establishing the world's greatest store. This demonstrates that the accumulation of wealth is not just about luck and opportunity. Successful people's experiences tell us to have a definite dream, hope, desire, and persistently pursue them. Without actively pursuing them, wealth will remain elusive throughout one's life. Throughout history, many great leaders and businessmen were dreamers who put their dreams into practice. Patience and broad-mindedness are good qualities, 
essential for today's dreamers. Do not fear new ideas. If you're pursuing your dreams, do not mock dreamers. To stand out among competitors, learn from the pioneers' great spirits. Their spirit is the continuous blood of life. If what you aim to do is right, then go ahead and do it without fear or timidity. Do not be swayed by what others say in the face of setbacks, for they do not know that every failure brings you closer to success. Consider Edison's dream of creating a lamp operated by electricity. He experimented thousands of times, failing ten thousand times, yet remained steadfast in pursuit of his dream. Lincoln, in his quest to free the slaves, saw a united North and South, and fought until his dream was realized. The Wright brothers dreamed of an aircraft that could fly through the air, which we now see overhead. These stories tell us not to forget to set grand life goals and work hard towards them. Beyond desire and dreams, belief is an essential element. Belief is a state of mind that tells you how to do something and plans according to the situation to achieve your dreams. Believe in yourself. Belief is the starting point of all wealth accumulation and the only cure for failure. Martin Luther King's story shows that belief in the rights and dignity of all people can bring together individuals of different races, religions, and nations to fight for civil rights, inspiring many and advancing civil rights. Belief's power is unmatched by anything else. Mahatma Gandhi showed that belief has infinite potential, even without advanced technology, ships, soldiers, or traditional warfare tools. He harnessed his potential, creating strength and miracles with belief. Think and grow rich explains how to succeed through both objective and subjective factors. The author's delicate prose and accessible language reveal the struggles and efforts behind each success story, summarizing key points to inspire and motivate us in our pursuit of dreams. 1. Dare to set goals and pursue the wealth you desire. I once read a short story about John Fuller's first pot of gold, whose family, like Hills, was impoverished. Fuller's mother inspired him from a young age not to accept poverty and to aspire for wealth, leading him to a different life and eventually becoming a successful salesman. Not everyone seeks to integrate into high society or become a renowned artist. People's pursuit of wealth varies with some seeing the fulfillment of their dreams as success, others valuing vast treasures, and yet others finding happiness in their children's achievements. Behind these successes is a commonality, the need for a positive and perseverant heart to reach the shore of success. On this path, do not be short-sighted. Do not focus solely on making money or achieving fame. Aim to be the top in your field, as being the best will inevitably bring substantial income and wealth. 2. Many people have amassed wealth at a young age. If they can, why can't you? Believe in yourself, for once you do, your potential will be unleashed, changing your actions and thoughts. Without self-confidence, no method to success will work. Accumulating wealth is simple if you understand how successful people make money. Their methods, unique qualities, actions, and persistently follow through. The world's wealth creators follow fixed principles. If you're not as successful, it's because you haven't grasped the core of these principles. If you understand their success strategies, sales techniques, habit cultivation, confidence building, action taking, and learning, you too can succeed. If you still lack confidence, believing success is impossible then you're far from being a successful individual. Try to approach them, learn from them, and you'll become like them. Instead of fantasizing, act now. A book, a sentence, a principle can change your current situation. Believe you can do it. 3. You're better than you think. You can control your thoughts and mental state. But first, you must have belief and awareness. Think about what you want to do as it directly affects your thinking. By regulating yourself, you can achieve more efficient management thinking patterns and develop more innovative and effective thinking modes. Most people have endless thinking power. Consciously develop it. The mind is like the vast ocean, 
encompassing myriad resources. By incorporating effective information into your thinking, you'll harness great power. Now, your task is to develop your thinking, understanding why you're here, and how to make your life more meaningful. Many are confused and pessimistic, while others are optimistic and fulfilled. Have a sense of responsibility and mission. Racing life with passion and love. Your attitude towards life determines what it gives back to you. Always have hope, as it's the fuel on the road to success. Act on your clear goals, keeping them as a guiding star when you forward. Every dream's success comprises belief, desire, and effort. So start now, casting aside distractions and steadily pursue your dream. If you don't want to miss out our free videos to grow rich, subscribe to our channel now and turn on the little bell, then share the video. I sincerely wish our subscribers who like this video to achieve financial freedom as soon as possible. Until next time.